Hi, it's needlepointers.com with a quick tip for all quilters and sewers. What type of water do you use in your iron? Tap water? Distilled water? I recently learned that some irons are designed to operate using untreated tap water. And after reading the owner instruction booklet, I discovered that is the case with my iron. So before filling your steam iron with water, check the booklet that came with it. Okay, so now you know what water is recommended. The next problem, if you do a lot of steaming, is how do you keep water near your ironing board for refilling it? Here is an idea I learned from a quilting friend. Presenting the coffee creamer bottle. The bottle has a nice snap top that closes tightly, a nice pour spout, holds a nice quantity of water, and sits nicely on your ironing board. How do you repurpose the coffee creamer bottle? After using the coffee creamer, wash and rinse the bottle thoroughly. Then with a scissor, remove the label from the outside. Fill the bottle with water and replace the top. Use the bottle to refill your iron reservoir. Replace the cap on it and place it in a handy location near your ironing board. The cap keeps the water clean and it's an easy way to keep a handy refill supply close at hand. Did you like this quick tip? Please like and share this video with family and friends. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos. Help us by sharing our videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of sewing and quilting free projects, tips, and tutorials. While you are there, sign up for our weekly newsletter.